from Cooking with Plants and today I'm making a German style potato salad. So for this recipe I've got a large mixing bowl or salad bowl and I've already boiled seven pan sized potatoes and I've let them cool down and peeled the skin off. One of those potatoes I'm putting into a small blender and the rest of the potatoes, six of the potatoes, I've chopped into little bite-sized pieces. So it's up to you whether you want to cube them or slice them, whatever texture you prefer, cut them that way. So to get our dressing made, I'm using the one potato that I've already mentioned and I'm combining it with the juice from some, let me get the front of this, sweet and sour cucumbers or some pickled gherkins. So these are pickled with dill and mustard seeds. There's some salt and sugar and water, a bit of vinegar in this brine. So I'm just using that store-bought one. And I've got half a cup of that going in. So with the mustard seeds from the brine and some of the dill as well. To this mixture, I'm also adding one teaspoon of coarse Celtic sea salt. and half a cup of sunflower seeds. So these are great for some added calcium. I'll put those in. If you wanted to, you could also use cashews in place of the sunflower seeds. And give this a blend up. Okay, so that's been blending for about a minute and a half. And it should be nice and creamy. Yes, nice, thick and creamy, delicious. So, first of all, before I add the dressing, I'm going to add two of the pickled gherkins or cucumbers. So they're a bit larger than thumb size and I've just quartered them, cut them lengthways and chopped them into pieces. If you wanna add more, it's up to you, but I like just a light blend through of that flavor from the gherkins. Next, I'm adding two teaspoons of Dijon mustard. So you can add your favorite mustard here. And next, I'm going to add in the dressing. All right, so once all of the dressing is in your bowl, just gently fold it through. Yum, that's looking really delicious. It's so thick and creamy. If you want your dressing a little bit thinner, just add a little bit of water or even some vegetable broth when you're doing your blending. Or if you've got it sitting in the fridge for a while and it, it goes a little bit hard, you can also, also add just a little bit of vegetable broth or just a touch of water to make it creamy and come to life. Okay, yum, that looks so good. I'm so hungry. So as a final touch for the recipe, just add some black pepper to taste. And if you like the taste of dill, just add a little bit of dried dill over the top or even some chopped up fresh dill would be nice as well. So I'm just going to put a sprinkling of that over. And that is ready to eat. I'll just give that a final mix through. So this amount will serve about two to four people, depending on if you're having sides with it or um, having salad with it or burgers, whatever you want with it. So comfortably two to four people for this recipe. And I'm going to give it a taste test. Yum. This is so tasty. It just reminds me of growing up in Germany and all the potato salads we used to have, but so much healthier. Mmm, I love that taste of the dill coming through and that hint of mustard and the creaminess. Oh, I have to go and eat this now. <laughs> so I hope you like today's recipe. Remember, if you want to print this, you can on my website at cookingwithplants.com. And don't forget to subscribe 
so you don't miss out on my next recipes. See you next time. Bye for now.